Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is November the 21st, 2021. This is going to be our GameStop stock prediction. You guys can see this is very intimate, imminent. So I wanted to come in and speak to you all about GameStop and give you all new price targets as to where we're looking for this market price to go in GameStop. You guys can already tell I got a price prediction already on the chart. I was already expecting the price to go up. We hit that price target. So now it's time for us to do another play in the market and GameStop. So welcome to HFN, also known as HUFIN News. We're not gonna give you no confusion. We simply look at what the price is doing and get in position and win. We're not gonna talk about technical indicators. We're not gonna talk about fundamental analysis because all of it is garbage. It doesn't give us any competitive advantage over our competition. This is what the market is all about. It's about competition. There is no friends into the market. Everyone else who is not part of my team is against me. So you got to see it the same way whenever you come in and participate in the stock market. Now, the biggest competitor, though, that we have is the one you see at the bottom left side of my screen. That is the market maker. It is his job to coordinate the trades. It is his job to bring buyers and the sellers together. So you pay attention to what he does. Guess what? You can actually see where price is going to go because that is his whole job. It is his whole purpose. That's why he was created by the SEC by the financial markets it's because we needed some way for the market to create some type of efficiency some type of order because the buyers want to buy on cheaper prices they want to buy on the low well okay that's cool that's one side of the coin but then yeah you got the other side those are the sellers sellers don't want to sell when price is cheap they want to sell when price is elevated and it is high so that is where you create a massive gap you cannot create an efficient and orderly market when you have people that's trying to buy on the low and then you got people trying to sell on the high that is a gap that's why he was created it is his purpose to bring that together so there's no confusion even though many people on youtube is going to come in and tell you that the market is manipulated even if it is you can still see where prices go to go there is no reason as to why people can come into the market and not understand what's going on because we've been showing you all that since like 2017 on our cryptocurrency channel. We got the proof on our videos and you guys can see here's even more proof right now. So we played a strength into the market at Blackberry right there on November the 2nd. You guys could go back and listen and see the video. It's still there. That's 20 percent. We told you all to be prepared for Black uh, for, for GameStop, excuse me, to go up in price. We told you that way before the market even went up there to two hundred forty dollars. We was already there. All right. So let me get rid of that. Give you more evidence that you can actually do this for yourself. And I wanted to give you all a new price target because the market and GameStop have actually done something fantastic when you look at this from a different time frame. OK, now, first things first. Are we in a uptrend into the market in Blackberry still? That is the question. And look at that. Yes, we are. I don't care what anyone says about GameStop, about the market crashing in GameStop. That is not being revealed on the chart right now. As long as this price in GameStop maintains itself above the ascending line, we're going to go up. I don't even care. We already know where price is going to go as long as it trades above this ascending line. Now, we tested this ascending line back here in the beginning of the year was when we created this trend. We tested it on February the 25th towards the end of February. And then we tested it again on November the 1st or end of October. So we're still intact. The price in GameStop is still geared to go up. Okay. Now, we need to figure out, since we know that price in GameStop is going to go up, we know that. At what point will we see the sellers? Because like I said, the trap, he is trying to bring the market to where he can see and meet the buyers and the sellers together. We are on our last video was around $228, $30. That was where we felt that the sellers were at and they were there. They even were present around 250 right here on November the 3rd, right? So the question is, we need to take this horizontal line and be prepared to see where the sellers are at now. And I'm seeing it right up here, okay, around 250. That's the next area that I'm still expecting the trap to try to bring GameStop's price right there around $250. It's going to get tested again. Now, if we're able to see the buyers overwhelm and dominate the sellers at $250, then we're going to be prepared to go to $275, maybe even $290. Right? 
So check this out. Let me show you something on the two weeks time frame into the market in GameStop. Take a look at that. We saw all of this selling coming to the market on this last two week price bar, which started on October 25th. But on this last one, look at this, the one that started on November the 8th, we saw the market close at the high in the bar. So it tells me that the buyers definitely overwhelmed whoever sold into the market in GameStop. They're still trying to elevate this price. And as long as price in GameStop is able to hold $200 for one as support, and then two was still trading above that ascending line, we're gonna go up in price, right? Now you might be surprised to say, how can you be so confident and say that just what they're looking forward to? It's because I understand how the market works. I see what they're trying to do. And you should be able to understand that if you keep it locked in here and listen to what I'm saying and listen to the things or, or look at the things that's occurring on the chart, you actually begin to see the same things. Because charts don't lie. They give us the information every day that the markets are open. People cannot lie with what they do with their money. Once they come in and sell, you can't take it back. Once they come in and buy, you can't take it back. So right now, they're trying to elevate this price in GameStop. So we just need to get in position, right? Again, and look for that price to go. Now I said that $200, right? As long as the price in GameStop holds $200, I'm looking for the market to go up. Now the first spot that I'm already telling you that we can see some selling occur, is in and around $250 right there. So we won't be surprised once the market in GameStop gets inundated with selling price comes down. Like we won't be surprised. I'm telling you that already. Okay, that's the first spot for us to try to eat off the market, which is around 9% profitability. That's cool. We'll take it, right? We're not trying to be greedy. We simply are here to give us or take what the market is trying to give us. That's it. So that's the first area, okay? Uh, the second area would be right there around $265. Okay, that's the second area. Okay, so we got $250 first, $265 second, and then $283. Just that easy. All right, now I'm going to keep this horizontal line right here around $250 because that was the last time it got rejected. If we break $250 to the upside, then definitely $265, $280. It's going to be tagged. It's simple. Okay. So now this is it. Our updated price prediction into the market in GameStop. I like what's going on. Now take a look at this. Before I let you all go, look at this. November 23rd, which is next week. Be prepared for the market to be volatile on that day, either before or after. So you're going to have to act relatively quick in the market in GameStop. Because if the market doesn't like, or seeing that we've been in the upward trend until the market and GameStop, the market is going to play on this information. It's going to move the market lower or it's going to move the market higher. So we might see the market start out going up to 240, 250, and then by the end of that trading day, see the market close down. You're going to have to act quick because if the market doesn't like this information, if the sellers begin to show themselves coming forth at $250, 245 then we already know we need to cut the play. There's no need for us to hope. There's no need for us to wish and play and let me hold on this for the long term. This is how this is going to work. And they understand that. That's why the market is currently going up now, because many people are anticipating what they're looking forward to on this earnings release. All right. So that's it. Make sure you maintain the profitability. Now, before I go, man, hit me up. Let me know what your price prediction is in the market for GameStop over the next three weeks. Just let me know. You already know what I'm thinking. You already see what I'm thinking about as well. So drop me a comment so I know what you're thinking. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.